It's hard on those who've been through so many struggles. Babylon will do whatever it takes for trouble. Yeah, you know it's I'm here, Snake A Farmer Man, representing for aromatic, realistic TV show on YouTube. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe. Yo, my princess, God, far, far away. Reality check, man, from a year device, you know, you know, it's a unique one, aromatic, realistic TV. Anyway, we see where them leak a poll after them conference because them know that the poll was out there before, you know. But after the conference, the poll was leaked. And it says, um, voters poll, voters poll, Andrew Olness at 26.1% and Mark Golden is at 29.5%. Now we see what is given the Andrew Olness administration and the JLP sleepless night. They knew before that this poll was out there, but they did not leak it until after their conference. Because if they know that if they leak it, a lot of people would turn off. A lot of people would turn off. But I'm going to touch on some little, little topic this morning. Because we also going to touch on the people who walked out on the Prime Minister. And we're going to touch the 22 million that was allocated for every MPs. We're going to touch on that. But without any further ado, let me show you what Galang at Eastern Portland last night and where Shaka Fame and the next young lady was introduced to the people of Portland. And nothing good, a pandemonium. Mr. Them are wet up in them underwear. You don't feel a joke. They are having sleepless night. Them in a big trouble. The man can't call it. The man can't call it. And they are trying to do everything not to call it. But anyway, when we look what took place at Portland last night. Look, I come through the crowd and you hear Michael Manley in the back. You hear Michael Manley in the back. Integrity. 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 When you look on this man, Mark Golden, that's the definition of a man with integrity. You don't feel a joke. Looking at the crowd, looking at the crowd and look what they take place. That is people that are not by crowd, natural crowd. The man of the place like a storm. You feel a joke, the man of the place like a storm. The people fed up. Chairman. When we cut the speech for a little bit, and we just want to know if you understand, look what they go on on the ground and look what is taking place. This man is generating a momentum. It is unbelievable. Everywhere this man go, it is electric in the room. You know when time people ready. You know when the people fed up and say enough is enough. This reminding me 
1989 as a juvenile as a juvenile when michael come back and just slap with siaga so slap it well plop remember that this as a juvenile is reminding me the way the people are gravitating it's electric and on a normal sitting the guan and on a normal sitting the guan so you know, I watch how they move watch how the labor right move them use up here so because what they do they buy a crowd to represent them at their annual conference and why the reason they buy the crowd to represent them at their annual conference they want to send a message that they still have a crowd listen what i'm saying you know jamaica and the people in the diaspora you know the reason why they buy that crowd or the reason why they rent that crowd to come at their annual conference last week sunday because they want to show the public they want to show the world that they still have the support because they are cunning they are cunning they are trying and planning to use every tricks in the books so they want you to have it in the back of your mind now that the jamaica labor party is still relevant and they are still pulling a crowd but in the reality we know that the people don't want them but this is a psychological move because as i said before and i'm going to say it again they are going to try to pull every tricks out of the box and whatever thief in they want to do when they do the thief in or anything happen they want the people to still believe yo yeah man they still have the crowd we have to be smart and the 10 20 30 all 100 step of either them that's so how the people of jamaica have to move right now anyway i'm going to go into the speech of mark golden that the people can have trust and confidence in because they know we are there to serve them we are not there to oppress them we are not there to downtrack them but we are there to raise them up so they can move forward and achieve their hopes and dreams it is only the people's national party that can promise those things because we have the most corrupt government in the history of jamaica they have had seven years and i hear them begging for more but they don't deserve any more because they haven't done right by the jamaican people if you are, 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 are if, if you're not even when just love michael manley but you're you're, you're obsessed with the general you're obsessed with michael manley you know say man married and then thing there but you're that squeaky way and you know what i mean you know <laughs> you're obsessed with michael manley you appreciate genuinely the foundation 
what Michael Manley said for the Jamaican people. If you love the foundation that were the general set and you really genuinely rate Michael Manley the general, you pull out all the dog by election day. He said if you were a real PG and the legacy were PG left, you pull out all the fold them for election day. He said if you were love Mama P, the poor people general, you pull out all the fly and the musket and the hands them for election day. <laughs> That's what he was saying. If you love those people who has laid the foundation, for the People's National Party and the foundation for the Jamaican people. So most of the Jamaican people today, the life that they are enjoying is because of the People's National Party. Then give Mark Golden a chance because where integrity, dignity, honesty is concerned, it is within Mark Golden. I go and show no the Prime Minister at the GLP 80 annual conference last week. And the Prime Minister, now I want you know, to listen what I'm saying, you know. And I want you know, to listen me keenly. Because you know, know when me come, me come because who may they give this a message, you know, is the inner city youths, you know, the urban areas, you know, and rural Jamaica, you know, the people them who know, reject, you know, the place where me come from, you know. A them me a chat to you know because here are the message of them. So my Jamaican people, my viewers and subscribers at home and in the diaspora abroad, Andrew Oles is the Prime Minister of Jamaica and he held the ice of, of the land. Andrew Oles is also the leader of the Jamaican Labour Party. Andrew Oles of his cabinet and all of them work for Andrew Oles. All of them employed by Andrew Oles. Every one of the, the MPs, the council, they have to report to one Andrew Oles. So what I'm saying to you, if Andrew Oles was the guest speaker at the annual 88th conference of the Jamaica Labour Party, then why the people walk out for Andrew Oles? He is the center of attraction. He is the poster child. He is the poster boy. He is Mr. GLP. He is the bro God. So you have to ask yourself that question. The bro God was on his stage making his speech. And the people walk out. And when somebody else step on stage, you know, we see that clip, you know, it was when the Prime Minister of Jamaica and the leader of the Jamaica Labour Party, Andrew Oles, on stage, giving a speech, the people them walk out. No want to know, listen good. You see what I'm talking about? That was the Prime Minister of Jamaica and the leader of the Jamaica Labour Party. He was on stage making his presentation and look down the saw in the audience and walk out the people and walk out on it. But we just want to look down and some strategically move what they may make. See, breaking news, Prime Minister of Jamaica. 409 million the damage for recent every rain relief the jamaican gleaner and wellness announced 40 billion for road repair project the jamaican gleaner reported and wellness announced 40 billion for road repair project 
after the the flood, you know, him say what? Four million. That's what it gonna cost. And then he comes out, and it was that in the aftermath of the severe weather system that impact the island last week, the government has approved an allocation of 1.4 billion to carry out minor civil work and other activities across the island. In making this announcement in Parliament on Tuesday, Prime Minister Andrew Olness said the fund will be approved under the constituency-based mitigation and cleanup program. Listen where it get interested now. The program will allocate 22 million for each constituency to undertake minor and civil work and public sanitation, which become necessary at the end of the hurricane season in November. With the Christmas period in December, he said nothing that he anticipate will begin as soon as possible. It moved from 4 million damage assessment and all of a sudden, it reached a 1.4 billion. It reached a 1.4 billion. But my viewers and subscribers, the people at home and who are in the diaspora, follow me and we will tread the line here. Because when we are probing, you know, we probe dangerous. You know. We are not probe like a, like a rat and dog you know, and cat. We probe like a jaguar. Tiger, lion. When we go, we go for the jackal. We go for the kill. Because we not left nothing behind, brother. The program will allocate 22 million for each constituency to undertake minor civil work and public sanitation, which become necessary at the end of the hurricane season in November. And consider with the Christmas period in December, he said nothing that he anticipate working begin as soon as possible. So when we look on it now, we don't want to talk about third term, but the third term, what they want to talk about Jamaica? Don't be fooled and don't be frightened. They want to use that third term to shield themselves from federal government and imprisonment. Any more term they are getting around here is prison term. Any more term that they are getting around here is prison term. Let us look at 22 million by 49 jamaica because we know they have 49 mps and each mp will receive 22 million they have 49 if you multiply 22 by 49 you will get 1 billion and 78 million 1.4 billion was allocated for all the MPs in Jamaica. But the Jamaica Labour Party of 49 of those MPs. So it is telling me that the Jamaica Labour Party MP will get 1 billion and 78 million out of that 1.4 billion i want you to tell me if these are not election strategies if these are not psychologically and intelligently vote buying me want to know if you chat to me and tell me you know, if these things you know 
is not intelligently and psychologically vote buying, you know, or vote purchasing. You understand what I'm saying? You have 49 MP and you allocate 1.4 billion. And out of that 1.4 billion, 1 billion and 78 million is going to your MP. This money is going to all of the MP. And they're going to split it. And they're going to share it. And they are going to try to buy the Jamaican people. Read between the lines. Strategically. Read between the lines. But what is most damning? What is most damning? And to show that the Prime Minister of Jamaica is bitter like a girl. This man have no morals. This man have no shame. This man have nothing about him. This man is a national disgrace to the people of Jamaica at home and who are living in the diaspora. Can it get, can it get any lower than this? The sixth thief who is charged with illicit enrichment. The sixth thief who is being charged from the IC, the Integrity Commission, for illicit enrichment. The Prime Minister include those six criminals. Those six notorious criminals who's been raping and robbing and ripping off the taxpayers of Jamaica decade after decade. The Prime Minister of Jamaica include those six to receive 22 million of our hard working dollars. Hmm? I want you to tell me if this man have nothing in character. I want you to tell me if this man have nothing in ambition. I want you to tell me if this man and your wholeness have no name integrity. Imagine the people of Jamaica is calling for a thief in six. And instead of the prime minister release the six criminals, the prime minister hugged them up and now telling us that 22 million is now being allocated for those six criminals. For those six criminals. Talk about it, Jamaica. Jamaica. Look at it. In the COVID-19, in the pandemic, when the Jamaican people did not have the resources, our country shut down. He did not give the people the necessary things they need. The only thing I'm telling us to do, turn on your yard and post the Disaster Risk Management Act found when charging a million a dollar. If you say something about him, he send police to take him for a down a bed. Rough times. Rough times. One of the roughest times in the history of Jamaica. Think about it. My fellow citizen, think about it. The first time in history of a country shut down. Nobody can work. Nobody can go out. All the resources cut off. And you struggle. Don't know where the next meal is coming from. And in that time of crisis, the Prime Minister only allocate two million for each constituency. Me want to know if you look and listen what me I talk to you say no. In that time of crisis, in the COVID pandemic, when the people needed it the most. They back were against the wall, against the dirt, against the tree, against the against everything. The whole kitchen sink is against them because they find themselves in a situation that they have never been in before. They're worried, they're stressed. They don't know what's the next move. And the Prime Minister of Jamaica then only allocate two million for each constituency in that times of needs you know what i said needs i did not say once i said in that times of need two million but now little rainfall 
and some place mash up. And you are telling us. And you are telling us. That you are going to. You are telling us. The program will allocate 22 million for each constituency to undertake minor civil work and public sanitation, which become necessary at the end of the hurricane season in November. And consider with the Christmas period in December, he said nothing that he said anticipate work begin as soon as possible. Bro, when your people wanted it the most, when your people back against the wall, remember they are hustlers. They create their own economy. They have to go do the soup. They have to go do them corn. They have to go do them crab. They have to go do them fry fish. They have to go do them peanut. They have to go do them drops. They have to go do them nails. They have to go do them ears. The barber have to go cut the hair. Name it. You take that away from them and tell them to turn at them yard. And you only allocate at that time two million in that time of crisis. And you are telling me now when Jamaica is on track, Jamaica is doing better than then. You now are allocating 22 million for each constituency. 22 million for each constituency. My viewers and subscribers at home and in the diaspora abroad, that is strategically and intelligently vote buying. Mark Gould didn't have them under pressure. Me carry out my whole medicine chest. Sleepless night, Mark Gould in there, give them. My medicine chest. When Mark Golden done with you, be a rum can't help you. Be a rum can't help you too weak. When the people of Jamaica done yam on out and shit on out and vote on out, alcohol can't help you. When the people of Jamaica finally get rid of you. And done with you know. I don't know do, who At them I can't help you know. You, know. you see. Who made ready remedy you know. White rum. Guinea hen. Primenta seed. Um, frankincense and more. All kind of mix up mix up. All kind of mix up mix up. Who am remedy. At this I go help you know. When my goal in and the PMP done with you know. When the people of Jamaica near you know, out and shit to you know, out and fart to you know, out and kick you know, out and run you know, out, on good them you can't help you. Strong know. homemade ready remedy. No fake remedy can't hold you, know, brother. You know, remember that. You know, remember that I may have extra. I have extra. But I don't know if the courtesy go out there. Forgive and help you. Know. For the, for, the, for, the, for the victimization and the brutalization and the wickedness what you guys have done to the Jamaican people. I don't know if by then my heart will calm down and forgive you guys. But for now, I'm not sure I can't go on my stock. <laughs> anyway, my viewers and subscribers, remember you know, Aromatic Realistic TV. We tell you if you like and share. Follow the movement over YouTube. You know, whenever you see I drop a video, and you'll be the first to see that video. I'm just asking you to like it and to share it. You know, the, the, the journey and the mission is not for you to keep it as a secret, you know, and keep it to yourself. You know, the goal is to make sure that the message is reaching the people who it's supposed to reach. So what I mean, when we talk about the inner cities, when we talk about the urban areas, and when we talk about rural Jamaica, you are talking about the people who is being neglect, reject, you know, forgotten. It's only one time. You know, every five years they remember us. And it's when it's time, you understand, to lead them to the pole. You know, and give them back that mandate for them to go back and put their foot down in our neck. You understand, once more. We have to be wise up. You understand, we have to wake up. 
you understand and smell the bush tea. We have to wake up and smell the sorcery tea. Sometimes it's bitter. And for we smell it, we start, because we don't want none. But it was the best remedy for us. So sometimes we have to get up and smell the sorcery tea. We tell them, say, God and good road. We tell them, say, no man is an island. So therefore, none of us can stand alone. We tell them, say, each one, teach one. So we tell them, say, each one, teach one. The respect and the command that you are looking for always have the courtesy to give that same respect to someone else. The struggle is real. It can't get no more realer for the past seven years. But Almighty God still grant us life. I said the struggle cannot get no more realer than the past seven years under this Andrew Oldness administration. But each day, Almighty God open our eyes and put fresh air in our lungs. We have to give thanks because he still have us. He still have us for a purpose. And our purpose is not going to accomplish until we do what we were set out to do on planet Earth. So in spite of the dark days, there is better days ahead. There is better days ahead. We tell them, say, God and good road. And the signature wording, the signature wording, the signature wording. I love you, no man. I love you, no, my sister. I love you, no, my granny. I love you, no, grandpa. I love even to your enemy. Because sometimes the people who you think that are your enemy is your best friend. But if you would only know until then, I'm out. Peace.